Welcome back to another weekly live. Okay, it just zoomed in a little bit more. I'm Allie, Christian Health and Fitness Coach and founder of Cross Training Women, where I help women transform their body and health physically so that they can live fully and abundantly and carry out their God-given purpose. And in today's video, I am going to show what's inside of my pantry. It's all whole foods plant-based. I just moved into uh, my apartment last week, so I thought it'd be a good time to show what's in my pantry. So we're gonna go into that today. So again, not everything is in screen, so I'll kind of um, bring it down. But in my pantry, I always have whole rolled oats. This is the Whole Foods 365 brand, which I really like. Um, I, this one's almost done, but I always pretty much keep a second container um, because I eat oatmeal every morning and um, I'll use oats for other recipes as well. So I've got some oats. I also always keep um, plant-based milk in my pantry. So I have some unsweetened almond milk in here. Um, sometimes I'll get oat milk. Um, I mean, there's other kinds that are good too, but I typically get the almond milk. Um, I also always keep uh, vegetable broth on hand. I've got a couple. This one is the Engine 2 um, vegetable broth, low sodium. I use a couple other brands, but something that I like about this brand and the other ones that I buy is they are oil-free. So I always make sure whenever I buy um, the vegetable broth, it's oil-free. Sometimes I'll look at the sodium, otherwise typically the healthy ones are low sodium. <laughs> so I've got a couple of those in my pantry. Something else I always have on hand is pasta. My favorite is chickpea pasta. Um, I bought this big pack from uh, Costco. I've got, so I've got chickpea pasta. I have some whole wheat pasta. I usually have brown rice pasta on hand. I don't have that right now. I've got some orzo, which is kind of like rice, but it's more Italian, so I'm including it in my pasta section. Um, I also have some um, fat-free marinara sauce. This is from Whole Foods again. Again, it's oil-free, so there's not a lot of pasta sauces out there that are, so um, this is something that I always get from Whole Foods. There, there are some other brands out there, by the way, um, but this one is the one that I like. Fat free. I've got some more pasta. These are shells and those are chickpeas. I've got some sweet potato lentil pasta. Um, this was okay. It wasn't my favorite, but it's still good, so I would make it again. Um, and then I just bought this from Costco. This is another type of pasta. It's made from red and white quinoa and uh, organic white rice flour. So. This is another option for pasta. If you've got a pasta membership, you can go ahead and pick that up. It's gonna be much healthier than the white processed pasta. And so next I've got some uh, more greens and then I've got some legumes. I've got um, a few things of brown rice. I make brown rice a lot, so I've got a few different things. Um, if I don't have any in my fridge prepared, which a lot of times I do, I, ha I like to have some other options as well. So this is um, organic ground rice that you can make in 90 minutes by microwaving it. And the only ingredients again are um, water and brown rice. It doesn't have anything else. So you wanna make sure that if you're gonna buy an instant thing, make sure that that's the only ingredient. Um, I do have a couple boxes of these as well. This is again, rice that you can make in 10 minutes. You can either do it 10 minutes on the stove or five minutes in the microwave. So this is always nice when you're tired or you don't have time to make a meal, you can quickly make something healthy and nutritious by just grabbing some quick uh, cooking rice. Okay, so I might, oh wait, then I don't think I went over all this. So I've got some green lentils. I actually have three bags of green lentils. I forgot I had some apparently. Um, I also got some red lentils. I've got some basmati rice. And I've also got a 13 bean soup mix in here. Um, I haven't made that in a long time, so I may be do that sometime soon. I also got a bag of um, dried garbanzo beans. I haven't used that. I really don't use dried beans very much because I use canned beans. They're so much easier. Um, all you have to do is get the can opener, 
wash off the beans and then you've got some protein and some good starch for your meals. So I have a ton of beans. I've got all the kinds. I've got garbanzo beans. I've got kidney beans, pinto beans, black beans, um, some different white beans. I've got great northern beans in here. On the shelf I also have some salsa. So salsa is also something I like to keep on hand because um, it makes a super easy healthy condiment for a rice bowl or for a sweet potato bowl, things like that. Um, I have also always have um, diced tomatoes on hand. Again, if I make a recipe, a lot of the times there's um, it calls for diced tomatoes, so I always have a few of these on hand. This is no salt added. Um, I also have some fire roasted tomatoes, so sometimes switch it up. I've also got a can of tomato sauce. Uh, in this corner, I've also got um, pumpkin puree. I have a couple cans in there. Um, so I love pumpkin right now in different recipes. I love putting in my oatmeal right now. Um, on the next shelf, I have some grape nut cereal. This isn't something I eat regularly, but I do have some in here because I did make a recipe with it one time. So still a lot in here. Um, another thing I like to keep on hand are just some different like quick and easy soup options. This is Dr. John McDougall's, McDougal's garden vegetable soup. Um, he is whole foods, plant-based, no oil, anything like that. So you can buy any of his different soups at the store. He also has these like um, uh, kind of instant soups as well, or this one's a pad thai noodle soup. He has some different options. So this, these are great for traveling as well. If you're going on a road trip or anything like that, you can easily pack these and then you've got a healthy meal. Usually hotels have microwaves, so again, something quick and easy for a snack or for a meal. Um, when I do do a soup like this, I usually like to add in some sort of whole grain to make it a little bit more hearty, so that's an option for you. I also have some falafel mix. Uh, I bought this a while ago. I actually, I liked it a lot. Um, but I just haven't made it yet, so it's still in here. Uh, I do have this rice ramen thing. It's made it ready in four minutes. I tried one. It wasn't very good, so I still have this one in my pantry. But hey, who knows? Maybe in a pinch I'll make this sometime again. I also usually have some different um, granola bars or fruit bars. Um, I've got some That's It fruit bars. All these, again, just just the whole fruit. There's no extra sugars or anything like that. This one's just apples and bananas. This one's apple and fig. So I have a few of these. I usually have some lar bars as well, but I don't have any on hand right now because I ate them all. Uh, I've got some peanut butter. Only ingredient in here is peanuts. Not even added salt in here. And um, so again, when you're buying peanut butter, a lot of them have extra oil, extra sugar, lots of salt. Some of them have hydrogenated oils, so you don't want to buy those peanut butters. Get one that is just peanuts or just peanuts and salt. Um, I've got some other condiments. I've got some liquid aminos, so this is a good um, soy sauce replacement. Um, I've got another one actually in the cabinet that I've been using. I also bought some coconut aminos recently, which again can be used as soy sauce. I haven't used this one yet. It's got definitely a different like smell to it and flavor, so I think I'll like it, but I just haven't tried it yet. Um, I've also got some barbecue sauce back here. This is Primal Kitchen. There's no added sugar, no oil in here, anything like that. So um, I actually have yet to try this brand. I've tried some other barbecue sauces that are good, um, but I haven't made a recipe with it yet, so it's still in my, my cabinet. But something that I use a lot is balsamic vinegar. If I make a salad, um, I always put balsamic vinegar as part of my dressing along with lime juice and a couple other seasonings, usually either hummus or avocado or something like that. So on the bottom here, you can't see it, but I've got two packs of these green beans, uh, cans of green beans. Great for a snack or a side dish. 
And then I've got a big box of canned corn as well. So that's what's inside my pantry closet. Now, I'm, I didn't factor in this, uh, this height thing. So anyways, but not in my pantry closet, but I wanted to show you that I always have potatoes on hand. This bowl was full the other day and I've eaten a lot, so I'm down to just a little bit. But I've got Japanese sweet potatoes. Usually I get some white sweet potatoes and sometimes purple sweet potatoes because potatoes are my favorite. I also always have lots of bananas on hand. Again, um, I need to go to the store and get some more, but I always have ripe bananas. I've got some more for when these run out. Um, right now, with it being fall, I've been buying some different winter squashes. This is a delicata. This is my favorite squash so far. Super yummy, even just plain. If you just chop it up, de-seed it, roast it in the oven, it makes great snack or a great starch for the base of your food. Now, I also have some grape tomatoes. Um, when I make salad, I always use grape tomatoes. Sometimes I put them in pasta or some other recipes. Um, sometimes I don't use them and they go bad, but I like to try to keep them on hand because I do like them. Some other things that I have here um, that I did not put in my pantry, this is actually in my fridge right now, are dates. I use dates to sweeten up things if I'm going to make a, some sort of dessert or baked good. I make date paste, I throw this in with water, blend it up, and that's my sugar replacement. Um, I also have date sugar as well, so this is also an option. I haven't really used many of it because I like to use this if possible because it's less refined, so. Um, but I do have some date sugar as well, better than refined sugar. Um, in my fridge, I also have some date syrup. This is something that I recently bought, and have used it, um, again, as a sweetener in recipes. And I also will sometimes use maple syrup, but date syrup is also a great option. The only ingredients in here are organic dates. Uh, let's see, okay, and then a couple other things that aren't in my pantry that are in my fridge right now because they're open. I've got some, again, Primal Kitchen. This is steak sauce, um, plant-based. So I'll put this on some different, uh, rice bowls I make or sweet potato bowls or things like that. And then I love the Thai kitchen curry, green Thai curry paste. They have a red curry paste as well that I really like, but again, all whole food plant-based ingredients, no added sugar or no oil. So I, I usually always have this in my fridge or in my pantry as well. A couple other things here. <laughs> so I, I grab this, this is in my spices cabinet nutritional yeast. I love nutritional yeast, so I've got a couple different um, jars of nutritional yeast. I sprinkle that on lots of my different foods. It's a cheesy, nutty flavor for those of you guys who are, aren't familiar with um, nutritional yeast. I've got some black chia seeds. Um, sometimes I'll put this in my oatmeal. Sometimes I'll use it as an egg replacement, or you can use it as an egg replacement. You can make chai, um, chia seed pudding. So I've got some black chia seeds. I also have cacao powder. I love cacao powder. I've been using it a lot recently. I'll put it in my oatmeal. I'll even sprinkle it on sweet potatoes, Japanese ones, super good. Um, so I love chocolate cacao powder. Again, that's how I get my chocolate fix in. Also on hand, I always have garlic and I have onions usually on hand, but I used up my last one last night. So onions and garlic are always something I have on hand because literally every recipe, I can't think of many recipes that I have that don't include onions and garlic. So I always have these on hand. I've got some popcorn. I don't buy bags popcorns because they pretty much all have oil in it. Some of them just have salt, but I make my own. I've got a microwave air pop popcorn, so I put this in there and put it in the microwave for a couple minutes and I got some popcorn and then I just add my own um, seasoning on. A lot of times it's just salt, but you could put nutritional yeast on it, for example. Um, also, I've got some raisins. So if I make a recipe, put it in your oatmeal, but soon I'm gonna be making some pumpkin raisin 
muffins. So I'm super excited about that. So I've got some raisins on hand. I've got some nuts. I don't really do a lot of nuts, but occasionally, again, it's in a recipe. So I've got them on hand. Flax seeds. So this is very similar to chia seeds, but um, I actually use flax seed the most. I put this in my oatmeal every morning. So I've got uh, flax seed on hand. Great source of omega-3 fatty acids. Uh, this is, again, another thing, one of my favorites. This is vanilla powder. So um, for a while, vanilla extract was super expensive. And someone that I follow in the plant-based community, they posted vanilla bean powder. And I wanted to try it. And it's this is $23. I actually have it on, linked in my store right now um, through Amazon. But it's just vanilla powder, 100% vanilla powder. And this lasts for months. I'm, I'm gonna, I gotta keep track to see how long this lasts, but it lasts months. So it's, while it might be about the same as vanilla right now, or maybe a little bit more, it will last you longer. All you use is a fourth of a teaspoon compared to a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So this is what I use um, in baking, in my oatmeal to flavor it up. I also have some PB2. So this is peanut butter flavor, but it's it takes out the, a lot of the oil or the fat of it. So it's a low fat um, peanut butter flavor option. So this is again, great for different baking recipes or in your oatmeal. I do have some flowers. I don't know when I bought them. I haven't used them because I don't do a lot of baking. I don't do a lot of refined processed um, goods, but I do have them on hand. I, I, I do have some recipes that I want to make, so I'll have to find the ones that <laughs> include those flowers and do that. But that's pretty much what I have in my cabinet. The last thing that really I have are teas. I have been drinking a lot of tea lately. I have some green tea. This is a mint Moroccan tea. This is a lemon ginger tea. Um, so I don't really drink a lot of tea in the summer because it's warm, but I do like to drink tea in um, the winter time. So I've been drinking a lot of tea recently. So that is everything inside of my pantry. Let me know if your pantry looks similar to mine. Let me know if you have any similar items or let me know if your pantry looks completely different. Notice I don't have any highly processed goods. I don't have any chips. I don't have any crackers. I don't have any pretzels. I don't have any bags of cookies or fruit snacks. I do not eat any of those foods. I only eat whole plant-based foods, as you can see. Um, so that's what's inside my pantry. If you like this video and you want to see what's inside my fridge, let me know. Like the video and comment below. Let me know, and if I get enough comments, then I will do a what's in my fridge as well. Um, but that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I did create a um, video this past weekend, my top 10 weight loss foods. So if you're interested in um, finding out what those are, those are the foods that helped me lose 20 pounds as well as keep them off for the last five years. So if you wanna see that video, um, let me know. I will actually, I'll put a link in the chat for you guys after this or you can go to crosstrainingwomen.com forward slash top 10 and you will be able to get the video there. So thanks so much for joining me today and I will see you guys back here next week, Tuesday at 12 p.m. Central Time. Thanks for joining me. Bye.